The town will vote to authorize the Board of Selectmen to accept and expend any grants and or donations of money or property, providing the donations or grants serve the best interest of the town. So moved. Second. Moved second. Questions, comments? Yes. Uh, Mr. Moderator, I'd like to make an amendment on this. Um, I'd like to add at the end of this that provided there is no monetary obligation on the part of the town. So in other words, if they're going to give you a 100% grant, great. But if they're going to give you a grant and say, hey, you have to pay 25% or 30% or 10%, that needs to go to the town for a vote. So the wording would just be provided there is no monetary obligation on the part of the town. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded to add Joe's uh, uh, clause at the end of Article 26, provided that there is no monetary obligation on the part of the town. Um, move the second and questions, comments. Yes, wait a minute. Does that impact in any way the 2.8 million or whatever the exact amount is that the town has to pay to the I don't know. What? You're you're asking if that impacts what sort of grant or something it's hard for me not the exact amount. I think it was like two point eight million, which is not a hundred percent of the cost of the new building. Is that if it's a physical for that that you Okay. Um Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why I came for the exact amount. I think it's 2.89. Fire Chief, what is the amount of the uh, grant for the. The amount is $2.98 million. This won't affect it, but if you do that and put a, a cap on it, I write grants for federal, to the federal government, which I got a fire truck out of, and it costs us, it does cost 5%. Any of the big grants that I write has a, will have a 5 or 10%. Um, it's like a matching requirement. It's a matching requirement. And if you hog tie me, I can't write for those. Wow. And we got our $375,000 truck for $69,000. Um, you're going to hog tie me for writing grants okay. for federal governments. And there's not very many 100% grants out there. There's always a match. Okay. So you don't hog tie me. Or anybody else that wants to write grants, you're going to hog tie me. Oh, wow. Okay, further questions, comments on this? Yes, sir. I believe that any money spent has to be approved by the town. So anyway. that amendment really, in my opinion, is not necessary. Not necessary yeah. Because we, we, we can accept money, but we can't spend money we don't have. Yes. I feel that, and I'm not saying we don't need a new firehouse, I think it's just too big a firehouse for what Brownfield needs. Um, this grant will allow us to perhaps maybe get a peek at what the grant is before we say yes to what what's coming. Um, Freiburg, for example, um, just had this go through so their meeting or a new complex that they wanted to go through, they were given a heads up as to what their complex was going to look like and if they wanted to go through with it. And, and as a resident, I don't know about anybody else, but I never saw anything about this grant and what was coming and that we were going to have an over $3 million building sum and that, excuse me, um, that we were going to incur sizable amount of money to pay for monthly fees, um, potential fees coming down the road for employees, that sort of thing. It's all that we need to take into consideration. And we weren't given that opportunity before we accepted the grant. And I think that we should have been given that opportunity. Okay, any, any further questions on uh, 
on Joe's amendment to add the words, provided there is no monetary obligation on the part of the town. Joe. Um, I just want to say I'm not trying to hog tie anybody, but we do have to give forethought to what we're going to apply for, much like we did with Article 42 last year for the community center. Now, no money was supposed to be collected for that because it was based on if the select board decided to apply for a grant. Um, but we could do that with any of these. You know, we can think ahead and we can decide what we need to apply for, uh, for which grants or donations we need to apply for and ask the voters if they're going to be willing to contribute that percentage, whatever it might be. I think we've heard some thoughtful comments on both sides of the matter. Are we ready to vote on the amendment? Yes. All those in favor of Joe's amendment.